Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Blood and Gold Caribbean with me Lord Cucumber. Okay, so when I first started off, a little bit of history, when I first started off on YouTube I did it with uh, a Mount and Blade mod. For those of you who have been following me since 2010 you know what I'm talking about. It was the um, it was the 1866 mod for Mount and Blade and in which you played a cowboy or sheriff or bandit or whatever in the west um, of the United States. Um, so that was a Mountain Blade mod. So is this. However, um, the initial release of this mod as a standalone expansion, uh, Caribbean, wasn't done very well, according to critics. And the team behind it went to work and now have released a free update for all of you who have the original Caribbean which is huge apparently so I am understanding um, with regards to how the game is played and what options you have so we're gonna have a look in this first episode at what we can do with the game basically so let's start a new game I've turned off the music because I'm not sure whether or not it's uh, copyrighted so I'm gonna have to deal with that. There we go. Beautiful launching screen. Okay, you can leave any location instantly by ta pressing the tab key. Okay, that's new. Here we are. Select your gender. Well, we're gonna play a guy. Now you have uh, four different backgrounds. We're basically playing a pirate in this game, or a trader, or. A, uh, a naval officer or an escaped convict um, in the West Indies so that's what we'll be doing um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for trader I've put the difficulty of the game on normal as such right now let's go easy for this alright no quitting without saving sounds fine by me Iron Man is my my name of the game I always do that so there we go now enter your name and distribute your attributes, skill, and weapon points. This is the same as it would be in Mountain Blade. Uh, hover your mouse over there. Yeah, okay, yeah, we got this. So let's, let's name our hero before we do anything. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Alright, I'm going to go with... Um, Hmm. Marty Adrian's Adrian's Zone. Adrian's Zone. So basically we're gonna go with a, a sort of a crossover between English and um uh, and Dutch. And I'm just think making this up. Har Marty, it could be a good pirate name as well, so henceforth. There we are. I'm just good. And let's see. Uh, strength, every point plus one at with your hit points, so I think I'm gonna do that. Following skills cannot be developed beyond 130 for strength, so if we up our strength a little bit, that would be cool, but I think I'm gonna put everything on agility. Because it gives you weapon points. And it will also influence the amount of shooting we can do. And charisma and intelligence decide how many troops you believe you can have. Um, party size and intelligence will give you all those things. as herbalism, surgery, engineer, prison management, navigation, seafaring, naval combat, fleet master. All those things. Basically st stuff you need to, to maintain your crew and s do stuff in the game. Which is represented here with skill points so let's see fleet master allows the character to control larger vessels without the 10% penalty f per one rank of the ship okay moreover the, each point of skill above the ship's rank increases its performance by 2% so we're gonna do that we're gonna have like level 2 ships I think that's a good idea naval combat reloading speed can go up if you have that I like that. Let's have 10% extra reloading speed. Seafaring, that's fine. 10% gambling. 
That's probably to gamble. I can cheat in card games. Well, I'm a trader, I don't cheat. Power strike, precise shots. Ooh, that's interesting. Might want to do that. Navigation. A fine art of getting a ship from place to place. Uh, reading charts and accurately determining one's position. Speeds up party, party movement 3% while at sea level. Uh, we'll have two points in that. Extra. There we go. Weapon master. Makes it easier to learn weapon proficiencies. Man, we're not. We're a trader. We don't do that stuff. Riding. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Uh, Hark Bashir. Reduces damage and accuracy penalties for shooting and throwing from horseback. Mm. No. Uh, looting. Pff, could be interesting at some point. Train Battery commands. Every odd point in this skill increases the maximum number of... Whoa. Okay. My mouse went off there. Increases the number of field cannons available to the player by one. So if we want field cannons... No, we don't want that yet. I don't need field cannons as a trainer. Well, not right now. Okay, a trainer. As a trainer. Uh, a trainer. Every day is reliable. Okay, for the party. So people actually get some extra experience every day. I like that. We're going to do that. We're going to have at least one point in that. Tracking. Uh, sighting range is, is increased by 10% for the map. Yeah, well, we'll do that later. Uh, okay, inventory management is maxed out. Trade is maxed out. Um, persuasion will help people accept your point of view. I like that. We'll have two points in that. Prisoner management. Now, we might take some prisoners. However, leadership is an important one. So we're going to put some points in that. There we are. Prisoner management. One. And then our proficiencies. One-handed weapons, such as broadswords, rapiers, and boarding axes. Okay, I'm, I'm a rapier kind of guy. So, I guess, put some points in that. And firearms is maxed out. Artillery. Proficiency in reloading and aiming cannons. As if we are going to do that ourselves. Probably not. I guess I'll make myself a... Well, I'll probably have done some archery in my time. <laughs> I have no idea. There we are. Um, okay, I'm going to put resting one-handed weapons. There we go. That's it. Marty Adrian Zone. Just your character's face using the buttons and the sliders. Okay. That looks interesting. It's actually not a bad face to begin with. It still has the basic options for changing stuff, it looks like. Um, what about hair? Oh, yes. We're going to have the, uh, the the nice curly hair bits. That looks wonderful. I don't like my, f my, um, my eyes, though. We're going to do something about that. Uh, can we? Is that even a thing? Or is that not just not gonna do any? Oh, that's what it does. Okay, great. Eye to eye distance. Eyelids. Uh, yeah, a little bit bigger eyelids. Eye width, cheekbones. Yes! Cheek, beautiful cheekbones. There we go. Nose size. Yeah, I should have a bigger nose. There we are. And then have a have it drop down a little bit if we can. Is that an option? And then a long face. I like that. A little bit of a long face there. I feel we should have like maybe something like a uh, a beard. Oh yes, a beautiful mustache. No. <laughs> well, this will work. This this is very sixteenth, um, seventeenth century, I think. What about the color of my eyes? Can I change that? Is there an option for that? I, I, no. I, I. Skin. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks disturbing. Uh, this is slightly... Yeah, this is believable. There we are. I like this. I think I'm going to go with this. Age. Um, I, Apparently we can age our skin a little bit. There we go. And uh, let's go for black hair. Or blonde. No, black is fine. 
A little dark brown here or there. There we are. So we look a little bit older. That makes sense. That's fine. Eye size. Is eye size a thing? Ooh. Eye shape. No, we did that already. Eye depth. Okay. Eye width. Eye distance. Eye eye. <laughs> Eyebrow position. Okay. Eyebrow shape. Well, that looks evil. We're going to go with regular eyebrows. There we go. Face depth, face width. Oh, this can scroll down. I have checked all of that. What's this? Um, I think we have a very sort of a very modest mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do this. And then a little bit of this. Chin forward. Slightly less. Chin shape. Slightly less. Chin size. Yeah, that's just an average chin. There we go. I think this is... This looks good. I'm going to go with this. You've spent most of your life as a middle tier manager in the offices of the East India Company. But paperwork and working from salary to salary never appealed to you. Having accumulated enough savings, you made a risky decision to strike down on your own and, and look for make, making a fortune in West India as independent merchants. Spending most of your gold on a couple of flutes, which is a Dutch ship, by the way, you set off to the Caribbean, the flout ship. On your first stop, you have filled your hold with cocoa, fruits and other goods. Now your route leads to Hispaniola, where you expect to sell your wares for a profit. Well, let's enter the Caribbean. Game. Ah, there we go. Life in the Caribbean is all about so social status. And most common venues increase your standings. Uh, are consistently displaying our martial medal or business acumen. Your, um, oh, that's the way to do that. The most common venues to increase your standing. Right. Your military renown increases as you defeat enemies in the field and at sea. Resulting in promotions which allow you to recruit better troops, or order more powerful warships, and have your armament, raid, and conquer cities. Okay, so we've got that. And this is a plantation. Where is... Where is... Um, Hispaniola is, I believe, what is now Cuba. I don't want to go to Hispaniola. Fuck that. <laughs> Can we... Uh, that's part of the Netherlands. St. Croix is part of the Netherlands. St. John, Tortola. Where the hell is... What happened to St. Martin? Oh, it's 16, eight, uh, 1670, right? Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire. There we go. That's super. Let's look at our quests again. Oh, we don't have any. Cool. And what do we have in our inventory? Okay, we've got this and this and this. 100,000 piastres. It's like a coin. We have a matchlock musket. And also... Something to shoot with, apparently. Okay, that's cool. That is awesome. But we don't... I don't think we have any stuff right now. So what we should do... In my opinion... At least... Smugglers? Okay. Let's see if we can reach this plantation. Somehow. Can we? You paid harbor taxes and you lost 165 piastres. I didn't mean to go in there. Okay. Um, let's go ashore. Cities in the Caribbean serves as hubs. Yes, I know. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, actually, I'm. I didn't plan on doing that. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Still trying to get a grip with this whole thing. Alright, let's just uh, trade, shall we? Bulk trading, there we go. Let's see what they got. Let's see what you got. Alright, yeah, that's great. This is, I know, I know. I know what I can do here. Sugar cane. The buy price for 96. Sugar, they have run, rum here. Not much, though. They have a shitload of tobacco, though. We might want to get some tobacco. Let's get all their tobacco. Why not? 
I can't. Oh, I can only carry 50. Sorry, sorry. Just, just a 50. Oh, come on, game. All right, 48 out of 50. Good God. Um, more ships holds. Oh, that's it. Oh, we can put it in the hold of the ship. That's what they're talking about. Okay. Well, never mind. We're not doing it this way. We're doing it this way. Can we do it this way? Is that an option? Or apparently not. Right, let's get some. Um, well, I got wine here too. No, I think that tobacco is a fine idea. We're doing that. Fine tobacco for the man. Okay. Done. Let's get it aboard the ship if we can. Can we? Is that an option? Your fleet, more ships. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not quite sure how to do this. Alright, we've got the Sunderland and the Vrede. Vrede, that's, that's the word cruel <laughs> in Dutch, not peace. It, I think it's meant to be something different. Cargo hold 75, cargo hold 90. Okay. Now, how do we get this stuff on our ships? C can we? Can we put it on the ships? What is this? Bulk trading, dock, message board. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go to the... Um, no, that's, that's a bad idea. I'm not sure how we can get uh, out to sea now. I'm... Why not? Why you don't have any ships in your fleet? What the hell? Yeah, we do. We sure as heck do. The Sunderland and the Flo and the, the, the these are ours, man. There we go. Let's put out the sea. I understand you're trying to moor them off or anything. With that. There we go. Okay, let's um, let's sail out, shall we? And uh, I guess where we're going is uh, we're going to the ABC Islands. See if they want our tobacco. Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. Going to Curacao. Yo, Curacao, we've got tobacco, man. It's awesome. I'm gonna put that tobacco. We have the tobacco in our hold, I wonder. Oh god. What if we didn't bring it? What if we didn't bring it? I have no idea. Paid harbor fees, 1,000 piasters. My God. Uh, okay, so they have cocoa, they have sugar. I don't think they have. Do we still have that tobacco on board? We do, and we have sugar as well. And they don't have any sugar. Well, that's gonna do well. They have a shitload of cocoa, don't they? They don't have cocoa either. Okay. We're making money here. Um, uh, okay, I think that tobacco will do nicely. Yep, we made a profit. Well, somewhat. I don't know if we made a profit on the tobacco actually. But let the, let's take the um, let's take the coffee aboard as far as we can. Look at that. That goes straight into the hole there. Taking all your coffee, man. <laughs> we could go for weapons as well, but they don't seem to have a lot, a lot of that. So, um, okay, cool. That made some money. Thank you, Dutch Dutchman Mansion. Click en to enter. Oh, the main square hosts the most important buildings and institutions in the town. Bankers and guild masters, garrison officers, and the governor himself have their homes and offices in this opulent district. Talk to Willem Uselinks, who's apparently the governor here. Yeah. I do not think we were properly introduced. Holy crap, you've got a huge pistol on your belt. No, uh, I'm called Marty Allianz Show. Uh, an honor to meet you, sir. Fascinating. And I am Willem Uselinks. Governor General of the Colonies of the Republic of the Netherlands, I have to do this Dutch accent, in the Caribbean region and the Governor of Curaçao. Great job, man. You look kind of like that guy from Mountain Blade. Do you have any work I could do for you? 
Depends. An old friend of mine is a collector of rarities. He's been looking for a certain native artifact, some sort of ancient figurine for a long time. <laughs> I feel an Indiana Jones vibe coming up, people. Uh, recently he has uncovered a rumor that might be stored in a temple complex not far from here. Local natives keep it hidden in their vault and worship it in blasphemy, idolatic rituals in their annual celebrations. Uh-huh. So we have to fight local nobles. That's wonderful. I need you to steal that figurine. It won't be easy. My sources say these ruins are infested with the savages. Brute force approach won't take you far. You'll have to use your troops to distract the barbarians while you slip by and explore the complex. Troops? Uh, troops. He's got 15,000 piastres for that. My troops? I don't have any troops, brah. I'm sorry, it sounds too dangerous. Anything else you want? I must beg my leave. I like, I like the fact that he wanted to talk to me. He just, he wanted to talk, but that was it. The garrison cannot enter, okay. Market. Do we have any entered? That's a town hall. Tavern. Always good. Visit the tavern. We're not going to get into a guest room just yet. Ah, the, ten the tavern is a town, uh, center of town social life. Wandering captains in search of employment. Traders of rarities looking for wealthy clients. Professional gamblers and representatives of blah de blah. That went way too fast, but okay. Who are you? Hello, Chip Dunn. Uh, I wanna talk to you. Can I? Ah, F. Not light, left click or right click. I see a black shadow following you. I see a black. Uh, I'll just do this. this is an accent. This just needs an accent. I see a black shadow following you. I take it you're a shaman of sorts. Uh, try a sorcery on someone else. Back off. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm probably a, a person I, uh, that doesn't like this sort of guy. What is this? It's a servant. Mind your own business. Okay, well, sorry. Another servant. Servant. Suspicious, suspicious man. He looks like an Indian. These are the gambling guys, I think. No. Servants. Whoa, Roberto Macheda. Why, well, hello, Mr. Spos, you wanna play? Ah, uh, that's too bad, because I don't play with strangers. Oh. Uh, can you suggest someone to play with? Look for Alain Atori. He's just desperate enough to play with just about anyone. Okay, thank you. I, I will look for him. And this is the barkeeper guy. Uh, I need I need to hire a captain. Oh, okay, no. I don't need to hire a captain. Oh my goodness, are those whores. <laughs> I need to check this out, guys. Yes! There's actual... It looks like there's actual prostitutes here. <laughs> Look. With a nice little leg up. I like you. A procurer. A procurer. Hello there, sailor. Looking for some fun times. <laughs> nice girls you have here. It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Well... Oh, never mind me. No, I'm, I'm not interested. Not at the moment. Let's have a look upstairs. Is there a way... No, there's no way. Okay, fine, never mind. Anything else here? Any doors we can open? Anything like that? No, I don't think so. Ooh, yeah. We can jump. We could probably jump down, and that's bad. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Alright, so let's have a look and see what the suspicious man has to say about anything. That's a servant. Hello, suspicious man. What's up, man? Um. Oh, so you can any stolen goods can be done with him. I'm looking for a job. You look tough enough for something I have in mind. A client of mine is looking to expand his business with some old-fashioned hostile takeover of a violent kind. You mean like, like what the West India Company did? Because I know about that. I'm looking for somebody to take the job. Are you interested? The problem is, I have no idea of my combat skills. They're, they probably suck for a trader. I'm, I'm sorry, I will get back to you later. I'm, what I'm going to do now is just find smugglers or more crew. I don't know. How do I get more crew? How much crew do I have? Oh yeah, the tab button. I forgot about that. Um, 
how much crew do I have? Do I know? Do I know? Is that even it's like my fleet? Okay, yeah. They're fine. 48 men and 64 men. So I have a quite a, 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 a good full crew for each of them. I'm guessing... What are we carrying at the moment? Oh yeah, the coffee. We'll put the C. And trade with the... Uh, French. They like coffee. They like their espresso. We... Oui? We'll head there, and uh, and um, you know, if we meet up with smugglers, we'll take them on, I guess. Oh, is it night? Evening. Oh, okay. Nice calm evening stroll. With everyone on board, really, really happy. I'm wondering if there's any resource management in the sense that we have to not just pay everyone, but also give them rum and food, because that's what used to be the case in games like pirates. saint -Fanzon. There we are. We're going into saint -Fanzon. Can we? Is that an option? Harbor fees. Oh yeah, okay. I'm sorry. That's actually quite cheap. The other one's much, 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 much more uh, expensive. So let's see. Do they have... Uh, okay. We are running out of fish, aren't we? We're running out of food. They have a shitload of coffee. We can have some more, but it's not gonna help much if we starve. So basically, we need to go somewhere where they sell that stuff. C Ooh, we can't carry anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. Did not take that into account. Let's top her off like this. And I lost 4,000 piastres yet again. They do have, they do seem to have food here, but we may well have issues if we don't find smugglers soon or anything like that. Well, what's this? Corsairs, freebooters, they have a cutter, a single cutter. I'm going to try and take them on. I need your free boot. I need to free boot you. There we go. You've encountered free booters. They, you have two ships ready against one of the enemy. There's a light breeze blowing from the southwest. We're gonna do this. We're gonna take it on. Let's just to test this. See what happens. All right, here we go. Okay, we can use the whilst keys to steer the ship. Switch to chain ball if you want to take down. Slow down enemy ship. I might want that. And okay, all right. Ah, here we are. Where is the enemy anyway? It's over there. Oh, it's over there. Okay. How do we fire our ship? Fire our guns anyway. I feel like we should just run into it, <laughs> honestly. I'll be running um I'll be running a tight show here. Is there a um way to just aim and fire? Is it enter or space bar? Target is out of range, apparently. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. How do we see how it's not... I'm gonna try and cut into you. Yeah, you're gonna... Do some damage to my crew, aren't you? Mm. 
Here we are. Good luck sailing now with no sails. I'm gonna catch up with you and take you down. Oh yeah, we're taking down my crew. I don't like that. I'm gonna ram your buddy. We're gonna have some some good times. Use the whole the use key. Attempt a boarding. Yes, we are doing a boarding here. There we go. You are able to board an enemy ship. You decide to command your boarding crew from the stern, the bow. The bow. Lead your boarding crew in the thick of an action. Huh? From the bow. Charge the enemy. 15 troops ready against their 8. They're almost gone. And there's two of them left. Where are you, you son of a bitch? They're fighting up there. We won! We lost quite a few guys, though. Alright, so let's see, we have a couple of casualties. Quite a couple quite a few casualties. Oh my goodness. One one of our cavalrymen got killed. The rest of them were well there was two killed, three kills basically, and two wounded. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, and we have a tattered musketeer um uniform, that's so great. Except it's not as good as we have. A cavalry hat. Instead of a fancy hat. Something of a boarding axe. Dragoon uniform and some bikes. Cool. And no piasters were actually... Oh, wow. They actually do have meat on board. So that's nice. Let's uh, put that all on our ship. Put the silk on our ship. Put the linen on our ship. And then... That's it. That was our first ever. 67 piasters. Um, add the captured vessel, vessel to your sh to your fleet. There we are. Relation with the, uh, the kingdom of England has... Oh, they've all increased. Great. I've gained renown and some piastres yet again. I guess, I guess we only need those meats for, like, morale. That's cool. Is this is this Dutch Fort Jacob? It is Dutch. Okay, we're going to Fort Jacob, and we'll call it a day after that. What's this? Smugglers. Ooh, you wanna fight smugglers? No, I don't wanna fight you. Not at this time. All right, there we go. We're in the harbor. We lost fourteen hundred and eight piasters for being just being here. Let's trade. They have very little sugar, or coffee really, so that's good. So that we're going to get rid of that, there we are. And they have no silk, so that's luxury for them. They have no linen, it's another nice thing there. We have some dyes that we could get rid of, but prices here aren't fantastic. They have salt though, quite a bit of salt. Um they have sugar cane as well. I'm looking at that salt. That salt is a really good price here. And dyes as well. They have meat. Oh no, they don't they don't have meat. I'm sorry. They do not have meat. No meat. Page two, they have fruit! This is there's two pages? I feel cheated. I feel cheated. Let's have some more fruit on board. Let's have like 30 fruit on board. 
and uh, maybe some. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, there we go. You got eighteen thousand six hundred piastres for that. Let's go to this uh, guy here. Um, can we? Is there a way to sell this thing? Is that or that is that just not a possibility? Does it have? Do we have to have? Oh, shipwright! Ah, click to enter. There we go. So here we can sell. No, we're not gonna sell the the Sunderland. We're gonna repair it though. And let's go to the next one. Um, how do we do that? All cleaning tools. Yeah. Can we go to the next ship? Is that's how do we do that? Oh, here we go. This thing is worth 1,200 piastres. That's not an awful lot. It can hold 30 guys, though. Holy crap. But a cutter, no. Not worth it. All right, that's the small flute is not damaged. The large flute is now not damaged. Uh, what's this? Crew. Can we get crew? Boarding crew 8, upkeep 20, hire sailors. Available in this town, 101. We currently have 34 men up. So if we were to add another 30. Oh, it actually maxes out. Okay. That is cool. Replenish. So that ship paid for our losses. Cool. And did the other ships suffer any losses? No, they're all fine. Okay, nice. Very nice. And we, we're still running a profit despite our sort of, you know, stuff we had to do. Let's head to this tavern and see what, who's there. Visit the tavern. And that'll be the end of this video, I think, for now. Just a nice little start with this game. Uh, this is one of those games that I'm probably going to play as a sort of pick up and play stuff thing. Weaponsmith? What, what is this? Hello, good sir. I'm a traveling collector and dealer in bombs, both rare arms, both rare and extraordinary. Perhaps you might be interested in some of my recent acquired acquisitions. <laughs> I have a very interesting speech impediment due to this pipe in my mouth. Yes, please show me what you got. A rare acquisition, eh? A fine crafted Wellock Arcbus. That does look really rather nice. Can we sell you the uh, <laughs> this this crap? Probably. Let's get rid of this. He's gonna probably yeah yeah fine uh, fine weaponry right yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you know, four hundred. And we have a matchlock. 58 piercing damage, 65 piercing damage, 84 accuracy. That's not a really good rifle, it sucks in comparison to my matchlock musket. The only thing it, it has is that you can use it from horseback. Although, let's look, uh, speed rating 50, speed rating 30. Now you've got my attention, I would like to have that, actually. How much do we pay? 8,000 piastres for that. Alright. Never mind me, just passing by. Christian Botheth. Hello, mister. Suppose you want to play? I'll fi stick to bets of 100 piastres. Are you up to it? Oh, we can do some da some gambling. Uh, sure, deal me. Your first time, sweet peach? 21 points without going bust. Yeah, okay. This is my first time. I'm gonna stand with this. You cheeky bastard. And we win because we have 19 points and he has 16. Because an ace can be 1 or 11 in this game. Thanks. Eh, deal. One more time. We made money. We can might as well spend it. Is this your first time, sweet peach? And we'll stand. Ah, the marvelous sensation of carpers fallen directly into my hand. Yeah, you, you know, whatever. Deal. Uh, hit. Stand. You cheeky bastard. 
There we are. Score is 20, and uh, he's got bust. Basically, he went over 21, I think. Is that right? Or no, he he's actually got 19. Okay, we're in pl ending the play there. So we've got 100 piastres out of that. That's cool. What what are you, a maid? Mind your own business. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is the um, suspicious man in the corner again. There are a variant of him. Slave trader. Oh, hi. Uh, okay. He's buying captives. As a good Christian, I'm sure you are. You would probably have mercy on this unfortunate, offer them food and shelter, escort them to the coast, and then I'll be able to provide them with wonderful new employment opportunities. This is actually pretty common in the West Indies. If you, um, well, in, in, in 17th century, if you, um, if you were captured by, uh, by an, uh, uh, like an enemy nation um, or uh, similar uh, circumstances uh, occurred in, in, in the West Indies with, uh, with, with like pirates and, um, and such, uh, you were put into a life of servitude. And basically, you became a slave. And you were put on plantation and you had to work off your punishment. Or whatever transgression uh, you uh, you you uh, had in, under your belt, um, so uh, and that could be anything. That could be anything from waging war in the wrong country and being taken prisoner, as such as a, a prisoner of war, to being just a, an ordinary thief or being screwed because a lot of people obviously got. Uh, tortured until they confessed to doing something bad that they probably never did and then they ended up in this situation anyway so you buy the captives as slaves then how much do you pay good money about 300 piastres per head I'm a tradesman I will be fine with that if I ever capture any alright and, and I was hoping there would be like another character in here but apparently not Unless, of course, somebody is up here. No, just the horse. Okay, never mind then. Well, it's good to know that there's a slave trader here. And nobody else who wants to talk to me. No, there's just people drinking. Wait a minute. Yeah, no. No. No, slave trader. Yeah, servant. Yeah, okay. Not playing with that guy again. Uh, we've got a nice little rifle out of it, even though it cost us a lot of money. Townsman. Mind your own business. Well, I will then. <laughs> what are you talking? It looks like you might have certain tasks or abilities. One of the requires absence of moral fiber. Uh, <laughs> yes. A client of mine has left unnamed. is involved in a dispute of economic nature with certain competitor in the mining industry. He, desi he desires to make a bold statement concerning the competitor's productivity enterprise, specifically to bomb the bloody thing into smithereens. <laughs> I've got a right person to plant the powder kegs, but he needs armed escort in the field. I'll pay you 7,000 piastres, sisters. Are you up for the job? Yeah, I I would like to do that, actually. And I am going to take the job, and then I'm going to save the game. I have no idea how well we'll do. But we're going to try this. Splendid. My man will join you at once. Keep him... S oh... Okay, no, never mind then. We're not doing this. If we have to do that mission now, that would be bad because it's the end of the video. I'm going to save the game here and uh, thank you all for joining me. Please leave a like and or comment. Uh, and, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It will help me grow the channel and I will be indebted to you. Thank you again and see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.